Hey guys, Abs here. Welcome back. In this demonstration, or in this tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through the submitter. So the very first thing that we need to do is click on the download submitter. Okay, and you'll be popped up to download um, bookmark lovers server engine underscore premium dot zip uh, once you've downloaded it guys you need to extract it so unzip the folder uh, once it's been unzipped you'll be you'll be given well you'll be given these here uh, you won't have the auto update in there guys um, and I can delete this here um, and you, the only thing you'll see in there is bookmark you know what I'll do I'll actually download the submitter so I can actually show you exactly what it looks like okay I'm gonna open the containing folder and I'm gonna extract the details from this folder extract all and here's what you're gonna get you're gonna get a bookmark lo lovers server engine premium this is your actual application this is to uninstall your application and then you're gonna get pixel pipe images as well I'm gonna be taking you through all of this now the very first thing that I'm gonna take you through is bookmark lovers ser server engine premium which is the application that's gonna run idle on your computer <coughs> without you even knowing that it's actually running um, but I'm going to open up my bookmark lover server engine because I've actually got my details configured in there so I'm going to double click on there guys and you'll actually see this screen pop up here and you'll actually see a prompt up there saying bookmark lover server engine is running now the very first thing that we need to do on here guys is it, it, it is actually see exactly how it works so um, you can click on start which would actually start it but the very first thing we need to do is click on login once you click on login guys enter your details in there click on save once that's been saved that means you're uh, you need to enter the details in here for your bookmark lovers website um login details so your email address and your transaction id if you change your password then use the cha use the new updated password to ensure that you're actually in there guys if you click on settings and then you click and you click on proxies stroke groups um, you will be able to bring up your groups in here so I'm gonna go over to my groups guys this is my uh, this is another account of mine not the one that I just actually took you through um, and as you can see guys it shows my groups in here which I can enable and disable and I can assign a proxy to each group as well should I want to you know what I'm gonna actually do I'm gonna actually log in to my test account give me two moments okay guys so I've added my details inside of here now and it should look much familiar it should look much more familiar to you because we're carrying on with the same examples that I'm using so I'm gonna click on settings and proxy groups if I go over to group guys as you can see the very familiar groups I created in front of you which were auto backlinkbomb.com bookmarklovers.com and under one month now from this area here guys you have the option to run the submitter for all of your groups that you have in your bookmark lovers account or to run them for certain groups now the reason we've done it this way guys is because some users might want to use the submitter on one computer for say three groups and on another computer for a number of other groups as well or you might even want to pass this over to your clients and they can actually run their own groups um, and you just explain to them that you know you're not going to be using auto backlink bomb you're not going to be submitting for under one month what you do is go into groups and you just run for the group that you tell them to run for in this same screen as well guys you're able to assign proxies to each group as well um, it will make much more sense as soon as you start working with the bookmark lovers to understand the exact um, reason why we've actually built this in now to assign a proxy to the group guys now don't forget you are assigning it to a group now this group might have three dig accounts it might have four pixel pipe accounts it might have five ping FM accounts now one thing that we need to try and look at is how many proxies sorry how many of these accounts can we log into uh, from the one IP um, normally I found about three to four is fine after which you will start to need to create more groups and use proxies for them so one might be your own IP one might be a proxy um, now private proxies are going to be the best and the whole reason behind that is because you can keep everything consistent that means you're always posting to these accounts using exactly the same proxies uh, or the same IP so it's not going to raise any flags now the way you'd enter your proxy details in here guys is you directly add them on there so you'll enter your port okay that's not a good example okay okay say if that's your uh, your proxy IP there and then you'd enter the port to the IP as well for example and if it's a private proxy you'll enter your username and your password for that as well what you need to what you shouldn't forget is to click the save button if you don't click the save button none of this is going to be um, saved over for you so I'm going to click on cancel there I'm going to go back over to settings again 
and I'm going to go back over to the groups again as well. Now in this area here what you're able to do as well guys is open is load a file of proxies in here as well. You can you can open files of um, free proxies or even auth even authenticated by username and password which are private proxies and the way you do this guys if you have a look in the user manual I'll see if I can give you a quick example here um, so your private proxies um, I think I've actually got a user manual up here no I haven't okay okay let's go in here okay your private proxies guys it would be with IP separated with a colon which is the shift and um, the key next to the at sign and then you'd have your port in there as well and you'd have one per line guys and that's exactly how you'd load it into the software now if you had private proxies you'd have your IP colon port colon username colon and your password and that's exactly how you'd load them in and you can have one per line as well now just to give you an explanation of exactly how this works um, if you do load in free proxies guys what the what the software will do it won't automatically test the proxies for you however when it goes to make the post it will test the proxy for you if the proxy is working it'll go and use that proxy to make the post if the proxy isn't working it'll change proxy and then go and make that post uh, and then test the proxy if working it will make the post if not change proxy again now it will use a new proxy for each account you go through um, however the, what the system is actually configured to do is firstly check and see if you have any proxies assigned to the group if you have proxies assigned to the group then it will use them proxies instead if you don't have proxies assigned to the group but you've loaded proxies in here then it will use these proxies here if you don't have anything done then it's going to use your own IP again you must ensure that you click save um, and then all you need to do guys is click on start and what this does it runs it, it, it's basically running you don't have to see anything in action um, it's it'll tell you your pending tasks in there guys you can also check manually for your pending tasks by clicking on the check manually button um, and what I would advise as well guys is the very fi first time that you use this is to click on the run on Windows startup and what that will ensure is every time you start your computer it'll automatically start uh, without you having to um, tell it to start or whatever alternatively you can always keep it off Windows startup when you've made a post you can start it up check manually and get it done that way um, now you have this section here as well guys which is a, a slight setting that you can actually alter and change um, and that is for interval for bookmark requests now what this does guys it goes all the way up to 60 minutes and this is based on minutes so um, this script will run idle um, in your background so for example if I, on, if I click on X now as you can see it's disappeared and it's in the background that means it's still running I can actually show that again and it's still running there guys and what this does here is communicates with the server every whatever minutes you, you say in there say for example you said okay I want you to well, well you're telling the software here I want you to communicate with my bookmark lovers account every 19 minutes and check if there's any pending work if there is any pending work um, it'll start it'll start submitting it for you and you'll see the tasks in there pending um, what you can do here as well guys you can actually control how often you also want to make these posts as well so for example if you've got loads and loads of blogs um, and you're making about say five posts a day um, you might not want to make them five posts each sorry you might not want to make them five posts um, simultaneously so what you can do is actually tell the server okay I want you to check every 20 minutes for work so every 20 minute every 20 minutes it'll go check your bookmark lovers account see if there's any work if there is any work it'll submit it 20 minutes later it'll go and check again and 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 so on alternatively you can click the check manual button as well you can always stop the system whenever you want you can always start the system whenever you want if you have it run on Windows startup which is um, which is recommended so so that you so basically just becomes a hands-free system um, there are a number of capture services inside of here guys um, sorry a number of services that require captures but I've actually got them hard-coded for you <coughs> using my own account um, so other than that guys this is all you need to do just keep this set on on um, configure your details <coughs> okay you're not gonna be able to configure your details uh, while you've got this on start so you need to click on stop click on settings proxies groups um, add your proxies if you want to add proxies assign proxies to to groups if you want 
and choose what groups you want to run the submitter for as well. <clears throat> um, so this is um, the submitter guys and this is bookmark levers. Um, I'm going to be doing one more demonstration or one more tutorial which will be for developer license holders and showing you exactly how to generate your access keys um, for your blogs, your client blogs and any other websites that you want to generate your keys for. Um, other than that guys this is bookmark levers and um, there's no need for you to watch this in action you can click on start um, click on the X and it will automatically run it in the background doing its work for you um, other than that guys I hope you like what you've purchased and I really hope you all the success and all the best and top Google rankings that you can get and I really hope to hear some success stories um, by Christmas really um, whereby you, you know not only have you managed to get a number of blogs onto the first page of Google uh, but you've also pocketed some dollars from it as well um, there's so much more to come onto bookmark lovers guys um, and I'm very happy to have you on board um, and thank you very much for the purchase thank you very much and hope to see you soon